Look, here we are, here we are. Okay. Here it is. We're crossing into Minnesota. Hey! Wait for Google. Oh, wait. I'm not turning it up. She's not telling me. Google. Google. Welcome to Minnesota. Oh, oh thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you thanks, Google. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Well, it seemed like our luck was finally improving. Our second night of camping was juxtaposed against our first night of misery. We were only roughly 15 minutes from Minneapolis-St. Paul, so we were very excited to start our day off with an adventure. What did you think about that uh, the campsite last night, dude? That was excellent. Uh, it was so cool, like temperature-wise. I, I, dude, I was just, I slept like a rock. I didn't wake up at all because I was hot or anything. It felt great, dude. We had perfect signal. I watched some Hell's Kitchen highlights and went to bed. Oh, dude, I, I had uh, I tried to watch a video and, and we, I, I think I fell asleep like probably about three to four minutes in. The reason I didn't get up when I did because I got up at all time. Um, I don't know. I'm in the gas. Uh, I looked to my left out the out the passenger side window and it was just perfect sunset. And I was like, this. This or sunrise. I'm like, this is what I made this camera show for. Just so I can roll over, and see the sunrise, and just watch more Hell's Kitchen while I while I wake up. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed. I enjoyed the heck out of that. That was that was great. So apparently, the footage taken by my wonderful co-pilot could somehow get even worse from the last videos. You want to see our footage from the Twin Cities? Here you go. No, I promise you, there is no mistake. The screen full of nothingness is our footage. This is the shame vlog. Um, I wasn't recording. He missed all of the Twin Cities. All of them. I'm not happy. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, at least we got to hear the story about, you know, you getting burned by holy water. That wasn't recorded either. However, despite Caleb's idiosyncratic camera skills, we were determined to make up for it at the Mall of America. So, as a great exercise of power by the beautiful, invisible hand of the market and the awesome power of capitalism, America collectively has decided to build a city out of a mall. This is the Mall of America. And I've never been inside, but I'm very excited. I think there's, I've heard there's like a roller coaster and, a, and mini golf. And, let's go. Unfortunately, luck hadn't quite moved over to our side. <laughs> the Mall of America was crazy, dude. They had a giant, all this stuff in the Lego store, and it was it was just insane, dude. The roller coasters, and they don't open till 10, and it's 8 o'clock, so we didn't get to go in. <laughs> I have no idea what's in there still. This is the second time I've been to Minnesota, and both times I've been cucked out of going into the Mall of America. <laughs> the invisible hand of the market has slapped me across my happy waiting face. Tell us how you really feel, Jake. I'm sad. I'm upset. <laughs> I want to see the mall, dude. Well, I guess we'll have an extra hour in Theodore Roosevelt now. Yep. After our disappointing mall visit, we headed to North Dakota. This was to be our longest stretch of driving just straight on one road, but the monotony would have to wait because my brilliant marketing strategy from Chicago finally paid off. They're going to look at my channel, I think. Yes. Do it. I, bet, I hope they do. I hope they do. <laughs> I hope they do. <laughs> I hate that that just happened. I hate so much that that just happened. Hey, speed up. No, oh, no Travis is doing it for you, don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, whatever. Get, got you, Travis. That dang hat. <sighs> they wave at us again? No. Good. If you two are watching this, thank you for the follow. Um, but, but I seriously apologize for the awkwardness. Anyway, our luck wouldn't last for long as we found ourselves in the middle of the boonies. Is, uh, so we've had to make a slight detour in Fargo. We were just gonna grab oh, gas. Yeah, because uh, so, yeah, this, this happens. It snapped in half. Yeah, it was. It we was had to go really find a Walmart. And, uh, yeah, an hour. We've spent almost an hour here. So we're we're still a little bit behind. We're not behind. Well, we wanted to get there at four. Okay, so. We, all the time that we were going to spend at the mall, we instead spent in this town. Yeah. Which kind of sucks. So now we're trying to get 
lunch and head back on the road. But after that detour, we discovered the glorious music of C.W. McCall, which made the rest of the trip just something else, honestly. However, eventually, we made it to our destination for the night, which was also our first national park on this trip, Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Oof. Camping area full. Hey, oh, we got a reservation. Entry. Well, we finally made it to Sully Creek and across from uh, Theodore Roosevelt. This country is gorgeous. I was a little bit nervous when I saw these clouds. We got we got through some rainstorms, but it's uh, nice, dry, and cool. It's peaceful. I mean, we're camping right here. We're gonna camp right freaking here. I'm crazy. Yeah, that's that's what's crazy about it is like this is the state park and the national park is right across really it's like two or three it's like less than five miles the entrance from where we're staying here so um it was this was um this drive today was probably my favorite that we've been through it was really nice we can just get set gold 75 and just, <coughs> just cruise it was pretty easy hey 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 all right, so Caleb is going ahead. He's already set up his tent here. He's like he's been sleeping in the tent the past few days. We got a little bit of stuff out. I'm gonna be. I don't actually. I don't think I'm gonna be using the grill. We got it out. Here's the trucks where I'm sleeping. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much the whole campsite. We're letting our stuff dry out a little bit uh, for the, from the rain that's been coming. But this, look at this place. I mean, this is crazy. I'm so excited. I'm not. I mean, you know, I'm just. I'm here. I'm excited and I'm. I don't, I don't know, what's, what's the present form of being excited? Excited implies anticipation. You are excited, but you are, oh, frick, I don't know. Okay. <sighs> Here's the inside of the truck. I've been sleeping in, let's see if I'll fix, we'll fix it. Yeah, so this, I've been sleeping right there. It's my little counter. Stuff's under the, the thing as well. Like I put my, the fan, like right here, and then the, uh, my charger and everything out through there. It's, yeah, waking up right there with that window is just, oh, it's amazing. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and finish up setting up camp here, and then we will go over, I hope this, I'm sure, pretty sure this is out of focus the entire time. But we're heading over to Theodore Roosevelt, so. Now that our campsite was set up, we could finally see the park. Theodore Roosevelt was an excellent destination for our third day, and for the first time on this trip, it felt like we were adventuring. So we've been on this trail for a bit here. It's just a shore, it's like 0.2 miles. But this like, we got like Pride Rock out here. What's wrong with that one? Little did we know our short time in the park was about to get a bit more exciting as the wildlife decided to start moving around. Chill. See this right here? See this right here? Yeah. That wasn't me, but I, it almost was. There was one that was right by my tire and I swerved at the very last second. Crisis averted. I don't care about squirrels, but prairie dogs are different. What he's saying is he almost ran one over. That, that's exactly what I'm saying, but it, but I didn't. Thank the good Lord. Yeah. He's looking out for his prairie dogs. It's true. These things are freaking everywhere. I love it. So we just stopped and we see a herd of buffalo. I mean an enormous herd of buffalo. 
Hang on, check this out. I'm not sure if you can hear that on camera, but they're just grunting. Oh, this is beautiful. See, this is the thin one. He's not the curry dog. Yeah. I think that's the same oh, one. Oh, he's taking a pee. Oh, nice. Yep, yep, stopped for a sec and kept on moving. Yeah, yeah you so. gotta take time to do that. Yeah, you do. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, the battery's about to die. I, oh no. The battery's about to die right now. Holy, oh no. <laughs> Dude, dude, what are you? Stop what do you want me to do? Stop. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh my god. Dude, look over here. Look at these. Look. No. <laughs> this is the fall on the road. Don't approach it. It said, just wait. Oh, I'm not, dude. I'm not doing anything. Oh my gosh, dude. Don't look at. It. Don't make eye contact with it. There's a buffalo! Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that one. He's scratching his neck right there. Oh my gosh. Wow. Those are big boys. Where, he's not even behind me anymore. What are you honking for? Are you freaking joking, dude? We just had a super close encounter with that buffalo. Oops. It was on the road. <laughs> oh man, uh, we would have stayed longer, but we thought, oh wow, we got, we got to get out there. Wow. This park is phenomenal. All right, ladies and gents, back with the buffalo after the camera's battery is charged a little bit. And uh, he is walking. They're look, everywhere. Look at the calf and the, and the oh, two, look at two him. adults right there. That one's pooping. Heck yeah. Scratching on the bench. <laughs> Josh, dude. In the road again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get him. Oh heck. Get him. Heck yeah, dude. Dude, dude, go, go, go. I was recording with the phone too. <laughs> Whoa, ho, ho, ho. the big, big boy. boy. <laughs> oh, big boy. Oh, okay, uh, I'll, I'll get that when you get uh, big boy. That's a big guy right there. I, I mean, I can't, I can't do anything. They're just in the way. <laughs> <laughs> That, thing, that man is, that thing is like as tall ginormous. As his truck. I'm, I'm not touching him. Oh, oh, hello. Oh my word. Or it was. Yeah, I stopped it. Are we good? Yeah. Bye. Oh, you scared him. Oh, it's a doggy. I hit that cow pie, okay? I hit that buffalo pie. I don't know what the heck it's called, but there is crap all over it. Look at this. Look at this bull crap. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Move, move. Look at this. It's every, it's freaking everywhere. It's. Oh my 
I didn't even see it. I was so worried about looking at the buffaloes and not hitting them. But is it on the tire? No. Oh, it's coated. <laughs> Our campsite was separated from Theodore Roosevelt by this little wild west town, so for dinner we just had to stop at the local saloons. Check this out, this toilet right here. It just has, it has no stall, right? And if you're in the mirror, like, you, you cannot help but see the person <laughs> taking the dump. It's just right there. Look at that. <laughs> I just, I don't know who designed it, but... I've never had an elk burger before. I love venison and I love bison, so I'm assuming it's gonna be like a mixture of the two. I'm gonna eat it without the toppings first just to get a feel for the meat. What's your take? Oh, it's a little early, but initial, initial take. How about that? Oh, right. <laughs> flavor itself is good? No, no, no. I need your inner Gordon Ramsay to come out for this one. It's really seasoned. <laughs> they didn't ask me a cooking preference. Well, what she noticed, there was a lot of women came out, got back in line, and went back. We've been just listening to their entire conversation. And truly, they've bought, they, they're talking about they're buying like 20 gallons of salt, put water in a hot tub. I don't know what's going on, but it's, it's truly dinner and a show here at the saloon. There might be a bar fight soon, but I forgot my six-shooter back in the truck. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's try to keep it on the day out. <laughs> Stop filming me, Frank. <laughs> so we decided to eat at the saloon, and we're out here on the deck, uh, overlooking our beautiful western town here. It's, it really is like a historical town, I think. It's got the cowboy museum. Yeah, we were going to cook, though, but we decided... Since we're near this town, we just go eat here. We're gonna go back and see if we can see the Milky Way tonight. Mm, uh, I'm, I'm really excited. Also, I've never had fried green beans, but they're delicious. They're so good. Unfortunately, the moon was far too bright to see the Milky Way that night, but the night was still beautiful nonetheless. We went to sleep joyful from our experiences of the day and excited to see Montana in the morning. And thank you for watching. If you were entertained by this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos like this coming soon. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.